Good afternoon. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. It is April 29, 2017, day 14 of the Counting of the Omer. I wanted to read with you today a passage of Scripture from Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18 talks about the destruction of Babylon. And it gives a time frame of how long the destruction of Babylon will take. Starting in verse 9, it says, The kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived luxuriously with her will, will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning, standing at a distance for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city of Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. Then it repeats this, in verse 19, they threw dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing and saying, Alas, alas, that great city in which all who had ships on the sea became rich by her wealth, for in one hour she is made desolate. So we see here that the destruction of Babylon is not going to take very long at all. I really think that this coincides with the August 21st solar eclipse, total solar eclipse that's going to be across the United States on August 21st. This is in the middle of the Great Tribulation period. The, the quick destruction of Babylon is, a, is, a, is another way we can understand the shortness of the Great Tribulation period. And we may be looking at this, this time of Pentecost as the beginning of the Great Tribulation. There's one very important reason. Beyond all the different uh, signs and conjunctions that we have, there are many, many signs and many, many reasons why Pentecost may be the time that uh, marks the rapture of the church and the start of the Great Tribulation based on the barley harvest and the beginning of the wheat harvest. But one of the most important things that I see is the uh, clear scripture that says in the book of Daniel, 70 weeks are determined, 70 Shavuot are determined from the order to restore Jerusalem. And when the uh, order, of re order to restore Jerusalem came in 1947, and uh, the first Pentecost was celebrated in 1948, from 1948 to 2017, June 4th is the 70th Feast of Weeks, the 70th Shavuot, the 70th Pentecost. And so this is also the uh, anniversary of the Six-Day War, June 5th, 2017 is the 50-year anniversary from the Six-Day War in 1967. So we have a conjunction of 70 uh, years, 70 Pentecost, 50 years, which is the Jubilee. We are in the Jubilee, and this may be the beginning of the Great Tribulation, and this would coincide with a short, uh, a short tribulation period, leading us up to the September 23rd sign, uh, which I see as the second coming of Jesus Christ, the end of the Great Tribulation, the Armageddon uh, time, and this would coincide with the quick destruction of Jerusalem you know of Babylon the quick destruction of Babylon from Revelation chapter 18 and so in this time frame then from from June from Pentecost to September 23rd we have this solar eclipse that is going to be over America and this could mark right in that time period right the bowls of wrath the the the, the mark of the beast the quick destruction of Babylon, leading us up to the second coming of Jesus Christ. And um, so this is what I, I am sharing. And um, as we are looking at, the closer we get to Pentecost, we are seeing the signs of uh, World War III upon us, the signs of the coming great tribulation coming upon us based on you know the the uptick in 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 the wars and rumors of wars this uh, conflict with north korea could explode at any moment uh, much talk is in the air of uh, nuclear uh, war nuclear disaster 
and uh, this would coincide with the destruction of Babylon in one hour. Okay, only God knows the day and the hour of all the things that are going to be happening, especially the rapture, rapture of the church that we are waiting for. But I just wanted to share with you today that I do see that the destruction of Babylon coincides with the August 21st uh, solar eclipse that really, I mean, how long will that sign last that may mark then the destruction of Babylon in one hour, okay? So I pray you are encouraged today as you continue to study day 14 of the Counting of the Omer. And uh, that means we are 26 days from uh, Ascension Day on May 25th and 36 days from Pentecost on June 4th. The Bible gives us the number of days that we should count. And um, it's the only time in the Bible there's a countdown or a count up. And um, I think there's a lot of meaning to it. It could be the count up to the day of the Lord. So we are watching and hopeful, looking for the rapture of the church. And I pray that you are blessed today in Jesus' name.